Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this live trading webinar. This is our official first uh, webinar, and it happened to be at the end of this month. So we will go through the currency pairs and what moves we had as well um, lately. So we can start with the pound against the US dollar. Here we are using the trading view platform. Uh, we are on the daily chart. As you see here, the uh, this bullish, strong bullish candle yesterday created the beginning of the move to the upside. We were expecting to see this kind of push to the upside and it just came starting from yesterday. So uh, what do we expect today? Market made a new high as you see here. Today it broke the previous day's high and therefore that's very bullish. Um, arguably someone will saying that um, we do expect it to see some more move to the upside after this. So if we go to the lower time frame like hourly charts or even for our charts we identify that there is a higher high and higher lows and we will try to definitely capitalize on this move. So temporarily bullish on the pound, also temporarily bullish on the euro. However, the euro it's a bit more, uh, it's a bit weaker than the pound, and I wouldn't be that that bullish on the euro. Honestly, I would prefer to see more bullishness on the pound and the euro. I will teach you something that it's not very uh, understandable to many traders and also many educators out there. Guys, this is a super strong area of resistance. This inside resistance here with the uh, two days, previous two days uh, highs at this point here, something that you must keep an eye on. If you are bullish on the euro on the lower time frame, let's say you are trading the 15 minute chart, which is a fantastic chart to trade in my opinion we see that market already makes some break to the upside it's expected to be continue but be mindful at some point once the price reaches this area here we may gonna have some uh, rejection next one is the Australian dollar US dollar here is an area of uh, support as you see on the chart yesterday, price didn't make it to break below the support. Nice bullish candle closed, not only above the support, but also above the 20 period moving average, and that's bullish. And from uh, Sydney, from Asian session to Sydney session, um, likely to the London session, we will see some more bullishness to come on the Australian dollar. Uh, as we understand, if we observe this support, we said that support are meant to break, but for me, I was bearish in general on the Australian dollar, but to continue looking for bearish opportunities, I would definitely like to see two days close below this area of support. And it didn't come actually, so I was, I was not looking to buy, to be honest but I wasn't even looking to sell it. Now explosion to the Kiwi and that start giving some opportunities now. Here is the Kiwi, it means the New Zealand against the US uh, dollar and uh, here is the high price strongly is trying to break outside of this resistance and break uh, to the upside but we must understand something. Maybe now you see that this candle is um, moving upward and there is a high probability for the market to maintain this bullish momentum. However, 
that's not the case because any shooting star or any gravestone reversal doji candle first it develops as a bullish candle and by the end of the session it moves lower and create this uh, rejection so we have to be very careful when we um, when we try to uh, to trade a development of a breakout all right guys uh, by the way if you uh, have any comments if you want to ask me anything uh, please use the chat box below this is uh, our first webinar live streaming actually on this uh, on my private account so I'm happy to answer any questions if you have a currency pair or an this is commodity anything you need to you want to uh, see further analysis please don't hesitate to to ask me next one and very interesting is the canadian dollar and the us dollar or if you prefer us dollar against the canadian dollar on the four hour chart this consolidation um occurred and the price is moving lower so weakness on the dollar definitely it's gonna help the canadian dollar to gain some strength now the interesting part though is if we see the euro against the canadian dollar and the euro against the australian dollar because of the fundamental weakness of the euro all right and uh, let's check the usdchf if we check the daily chart we used to talk constantly about the over extension of the US dollar three to four weeks with not any retracement here that's that's crazy to be honest and we will try to see if the price will make it towards this low point here now uh, guys you can oh, you can go to the lower time frames like the four hour chart not any opportunity here on the four hour chart but the one hour chart gave opportunities yesterday uh, we had these higher highs and higher lows last reference it was this low here because this caused the creation of the impulse move to the upside and uh, a break below this one it was yesterday at the new york session and after that price moved upward and now it's trading lower okay so let's keep an eye on that any anywhere we can see weakness on the dollar we're going to be all over the place one hour chart as well usd jpy that's that's an awesome chart to keep an eye on and uh, let's go to check this one here you see price makes higher highs at this point here then almost equal highs with the strongest bearish divergence i don't see often on the chart so uh, a very very intense breakout of these lows and once the price is going to start retracing at some point we can use our fib tool i'll show you now where is the fib tool so if the wherever the price stops either it stops here or it stops there we're going to use the fib tool when we see the first blue candle all right the first blue candle indicates reversal and not reversal to change the trend okay we will expect it to see the price move upward for a while and maybe we can take some good positions around the 61.8 fib retracement uh, which if the reversal will appears here this 61.8 percent retracement aligns 
perfectly with this broken support that's the most recent swing in the market so that's where i'd like to keep an eye on next one it's the pound against the us dollar daily chart uh it's a bit messy here i would like to see breakout of this s1 support and if the breakout occurs here then definitely i will be looking to target the s2 how we capitalize on that simply we're going to look at the lower time frames like the four hour one hour chart and when you guys see so that was the higher high on the one hour chart uh, the reason we call this as the last impulse move it's because this high managed to close above the previous high here so it makes this swing as the most relevant recent low in the market now a break below here i will be looking forward for a correction to look for some uh, push the downside all right if you if any one of you guys um you watching on this webinar here and you saw me on a previous webinars yesterday and the other days um please let me know put your name on the chat so i know who you are you can send me also private emails you can find my email address on my personal youtube channel which is this one here and the purpose of this channel is to do live market analysis i'm a certified uh, market technician i uh, have certificates and diplomas as a technical analyst i'm a professional trader in the industry for the last 12 years now and um, regardless this is the first i'm saying that this is the first life the thing is not um you, you don't need to wait to have 100 and 200 participants watching you it's just we start we are here we stay strong and we are moving forward and um, yeah hopefully i will see you guys more engaged you need some time absolutely i understand you need some time to uh, understand who i am as a trader uh, if you can trust my analysis if you can trust what i say here please feel free to ask me anything you need and um, I'm sure, I'm 100% sure that I will add so much value in your trading. And uh, if you are a beginner trader or if you have experience or one year, five years, 10 years experience, again, you're gonna gain significant amount of value out of these uh, sessions. At the moment, I'm gonna keep them very short, 10 to 15 minutes, and then we're gonna start doing some more also advanced things, we're gonna start um, I'm going to reveal to you some of the very powerful strategies I use to trade, uh, especially intraday. Okay, so here is the euro against the US dollar. Please let me know in the comments if you have any um, currency pairs or any indices, any stocks you would like to see, cryptocurrencies as well. We can analyze anything here so that's the euro against the australian dollar as we see the price last week create this inside candle a break outside of this expected to give a strong directional move excuse me for that and i do see as an intraday level of support this one here and please if you are an intraday trader and because this one looks very promising that it still have some room for uh, for the market to move at least another 100 pips be mindful that this the spread in any broker you are using um i don't represent any broker in this webinar in any broker you are using from experience the spreads on the euro australian dollar it's somewhere about five to seven pips uh, on average unless you are using a pro accounts they give it a, a bit tighter spread but if you're going to trade on the one hour chart and you find some uh, lucrative opportunities here it's good to keep an eye for the room of opportunity it's up to around 1.62 therefore you're not going to rush to um you, you're not going to be really uh, 
uh, unsatisfied with some good profits, right? Good profits are always welcome. Uh, gold, I know many of you are trading the gold and you like the gold. Strong bullish divergence spotted at this point here, here and there. Um, as you see, we do have this area at this point. There is a resistance at this area here, so there is fairly uh, room for the gold to move to the upside until these levels here. Okay, so keep on eye on that. I think that will be very helpful. And WTI, my goodness, WTI, what's going on? Uh, divergence on divergence here. So, WTI, that's the daily chart. Price made a higher high here indicator make a lower high do we expect more from this from this market honestly is some correction I mean at some point price has to correct before it continue moving upwards so nice bearish dark cloud candle printed on the daily chart so for our chart maybe show some more clarity really nothing here hourly time frame lower highs and lower lows um, again i would i prefer to wait for the new york session to kick in before i trade the wti because that's where it gives better moves and uh, let's check the German 40, there are many traders, they take trades on the DAX at the London Open. And how do I know that? Because I mainly teach you guys about this, so <laughs> that's why I know that. <laughs> now, for our time frame, price congested around this um, upper band of the Bollinger Bands. So I will be waiting. It was a bullish engulfing here, but right at the resistance on the hourly candle, it was 30 pips. So 60 pips uh, could be given to fill up the gap here. But nevertheless, let's, let's see the five mini chart. What if it shows any opportunities so uh, guys for those they're gonna watch it on the uh, they, for those you gonna watch later on uh, uh, when it's gonna be uploaded on the YouTube uh, I just let you know because it was very, very sudden and surprisingly that um, I stopped doing webinars on the previous channel I used to host the webinars. So uh, this is the first webinar I do. I do them personal myself. That's my live uh, YouTube, personal YouTube channel. Uh, I will appreciate any encouragement. If you want to find this valuable, please give me some likes, some comments below what you want to see more uh, this is the beginning and as everywhere the beginning is uh, a little bit difficult it's a little bit hard it doesn't need to be perfect like anything in life it doesn't really need to be perfect and the most well organized webinar in order to start it that's why I decided I'm gonna start it no matter what 
very with even no thumbnails no um, titles and all this stuff I hope you're going to appreciate the content and um, and uh, and the heart I put on these webinars just for you to learn and become a skillful trader to understand the markets and slowly slowly we're going to go into more uh, more more advanced more um, personalized trading styles and all this stuff okay I didn't even prepare um, a live trading account right now to open the trades on the DAX uh, in front of you so apologies for that uh, again but I didn't want to wait one week without doing any live and without giving you any market updates until I prepare everything that's I think that's not fair I'm sure some of you are looking there for someone like me qualified market analyst and qualified trader to teach you basic stuff and um, and more advanced stuff on how to read the markets of course in 20 minutes in 30 minutes you cannot uh, get uh, everything I have 12 years experience I have thousands and thousands of hours of screening charting and learning about the markets and trading the markets so it's impossible within one session and uh, to give you uh, all this stuff so what do we expect now I will leave this webinar for another five minutes and uh, on on this five minute chart I will be expecting to see the price to move below this low here to break the structure of this five minute chart and uh, put a sell stop here oh. sell stop order below this low here ideally for the price for the price to move all the way down here okay and I will have given this target usually I go for 20 points and I target 40 points now one of the scalping strategies I used to teach uh, the last year and it's to to get right at the London Open for the break of the swing of the five minute chart and to go for 10 to 15 points max that gives an um, approximately 80% uh, winning ratio I would say maybe more okay but um, we accumulate small small profits uh, but the loss it's not like uh, we take the loss on a fixed reward to risk because it depends on the swings now to apply this strategy also it needs to uh, it depends on the available funds you have in your account and the margin depends on the broker you are using what kind of leverage you have uh, again you have so many things to learn from these live webinars I also will start uploading some educational materials uh, and content on the on the YouTube channel to help you with your learning and trading process so I don't want to keep you for more guys um, that was again that was the first webinar even one like uh, on the <laughs> yeah, one a couple of likes on the video if you find this valuable that will be very helpful and uh, I look forward next week this day going to be consistent webinars I will um, be here every single morning for you guys to build up this channel to build up uh, an incredible community because I'm 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 certain that this thing miss is missing from the YouTube uh, from the YouTube channels you see everywhere everyone who learns uh, one strategy to go there and try to promote and make some money I'm not here to make money from uh, from the views or from the advertisements 
I'm a pure trader and uh, finally I decided that it's time to give you my knowledge and uh, all the all the ex trading experience and that's why I'm here and slowly slowly we're going to build up this channel and you're going to see progress in your trading okay I would like to wish everyone to have a fantastic uh, week ahead uh, enjoy your weekend actually and i look forward to seeing you on monday at the same time thank you so much bye for now